Kia ora everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2016. Hey guys, this is the first of the Earth Prediction series for the year. This kind of follows in line with my overall year prediction and I often put the links of these beneath my yearly prediction actual video. If any of you have been following me from the start of the Earth Prediction series you will understand the concept of the paradigm that I work with which is to do with collective consciousness and the human psyche and archetypes. These cards that I use are called Psy cards. They're designed really, really well to connect with all of those particular paradigms and aspects of life. The basic um, idea of collective consciousness, I believe, was created or thought of or instigated by Carl Jung. I'm never sure if that's how I pronounce his name, but that's how I'm doing it anyhow. So guys, with no further ado, let's see what January has in store. Now it is already January the 5th here in New Zealand, so um, I'm a little bit late in uploading this, I was away. We had a not the best start to the new year weather-wise here in the North Island in particular. I think yesterday was the first day of the year that I saw the sun, and this, remember, is the Southern Hemisphere's summer. So we didn't get the best start weather-wise to the new year. But let's see what's in store for the rest of you all. January 2016 Earth Prediction Series. The beauty. The scales. The home. The prison. The skills and the wheel. If we look at all these, they're actually not too bad, I have to say. They're not, I've seen worse cards turn up. The beauty I often think of as up in the English or European area, and often to do with females, and sometimes even to do with someone famous from England. And it can be something unusual happening with a particular person or woman in particular. It could be um, a movie star, someone important, a celebrity, or someone to do with politics. The other energy that the card gives off is female feminine energy. So globally around the planet, an uprising of females giving or wanting their voices to be heard and their message to be um, listened to more. So this can be to do with anything from, you know, fighting against rape or torture, war crimes against women, uh, balance and equality, all of those types of issues. So that can be on the up and up. And this could be the year that that really does move ahead. 2016 has a little bit of a feel like that for it. When we come to the scales card right next to it, that also talks of justice and equality because it's the scales and it's in balance. And I think of it as being possibly Southern Hemisphere related because those are fruits on the tree and they look like apples and we're coming into that period of time down here where our fruits are beginning to grow. And I also sometimes think of this card as um, earthquake related, so things shaking. And then I see the home card and um, I have talked about this one before when it comes out. We can often think of animals as being an issue, so something to do with animals in the month of January, sometimes mass die-offs or things that bring animals to attention globally one way or another, as well as fires, because we see the fire here, buildings on fire. Now, we, we know that in hindsight we can retrospectively look back and see that on New Year's Eve, Dubai had a massive skyscraper fire, so that kind of fits that category as well. We can also think of it as possibly bushfires, and we have the tree right next to the fire, so we can think of shrubs or bushes or um, forest fires, things like that. The other thing with the home card is my home is New Zealand, so I think of issues to do with New Zealand and its neighbours, including the island neighbours that surround us and Australia one way or another. 
Now sometimes it can be um, quake related activity as well. So we did have a relatively strong quake here in New Zealand yesterday, a 5.1, which for us is what we would call, you know, a little bit bigger than normal. I see the prison card, which has been here a little bit in the end of 2015. This is talking to me about being stuck under things, trapped underground or locking yourself in a position like that so getting away to hide from something sometimes this can be mines underground caverns or caving or volcanic activity because it's coming up from underground so and again earthquake type issues it can also be um literally sometimes something to do with prisons or prisoners somewhere around the world and in fact again we can come back to the um, beheadings and the public killings of the 27 Middle Eastern people just two days ago so you could pick, pick that up and have that as a feeling for the card my one of the most prominent things is the sun coming in with these great strong rays so i think again of sun related activity you'll know that i follow suspicious observers and he is um, a great one with new interesting information regards the sun and how it affects our dynamic universe that we live in and especially our planet and us so any high magnetic energy that comes our way which can create auroras big storm cells increased earthquake activity, um, sun diving comets, any of those sort of things or activity could be prevalent again in the month of January. We had this in December anyhow, so it might be replaying itself out. The skills card I think of as hand-to-hand -hand combat and war um, or warring factions. So we're the Middle East is feeling quite tense at the moment. We're seeing that energy swell up again. Sometimes it can indicate terror attacks. I also think of things falling from the sky because these arrows have come out of the sky and into the ground. So that again gives us the same feeling as this card. Things from the sky. So um, it could be even things like an increase in fireball, asteroid, meteorite sightings. Things coming from the sky. So that falling out of the sky. It could even be um, junk, space junk, aircraft activity, any of those sort of things as well. The final card, the wheel card, which I put in as a, um, I guess it's an overall energy, often think of fast, really fast, rapid moving water. Um, that's the ever-turning ever wheel of life, the motion of life, so new beginnings at a new year. The cycles are moving on, that's quite cool. Time, something about the whole connective energy of time and just the moving of it. Also planets and alignments, we might be in for some quite strong planetary alignments in Jan January. And there's definitely that fast moving water, so there's the potentiality for heavy flooding, inland tsunami type issues. Now in hindsight again we know that America and um, England really have already been suffering from that to a great extent. So I wouldn't imagine that that's going to um, necessarily finish. January could continue on with that type of energy attached to it. I put the two pyramids in the background. Not sure why. We'll see if there's any sort of activity in or around the pyramids in Egypt or other pyramids that also are around our globe as well. So guys, thanks for listening. I enjoy that you do and I wish you all a very happy, safe, prosperous beginning of 2016. Happy New Year to, to you all. Take care. Much aroha. Ka kite noa.